The zero is going to be 10 yards for most people because that's where I found you can shoot. We're going to shoot freestyle, which means you get to use both hands. Then we're going to shoot right, then we're going to shoot left because that will give us a verification that you're seeing the dot well. We need to be able to see it with both eyes. Okay, so a 3.25 MOA, minute of angle, is exactly 0 0.0362 inches. Now, what is the width of your front sights? Anybody know? Yeah, it's somewhere between 0 0.9 mm -hmm. and 1.4 or 1.5. So how much more precise is an MOA 3.25? Extremely. That's why you can aim better, because that front sight on a 25-yard target will cover the V8 where this 3.25 will be just a flat right there. It's only going to be three inches at 100 yards. So at 25 yards, it's going to be what? Less than an inch, much less than an inch. The other MLA, 6.5, is 0 0.072 inches in width, okay? And compare that to 0 0.9, 0 0.125, and 0 0.145 for a front sight post. That's why you get a big, big jump in precision right away, because you've got a more precise aiming instrument, where most of you can't see this target because the sight's big enough so everybody sees a big jump in distance aiming right away. There's a thing called parallax. Does anybody know what that is? So, you know, I'm well suited to teach this class because I'm a precision shooter. In your scope, there's an edge of it where the, the light may be reflected a little differently and you get some loss of precision. So with the red dot, what we're going to do is shoot it in the corners and see if it changes it. One of the most significant problems with new shooters on red dot is they try to center it in the cowling, which means you have to look at the dot, and then they center it on a target. Simply put the red dot on the target, it doesn't matter where it is inside that screen. As long as you can see the red dot, it doesn't matter where it is. You're going to find these mostly don't have any parallax on them, so the outside edges won't be changed. Okay? You just simply put the dot on the target and center it. You don't worry about it being in the center of the gun. That's hard. Everybody just went, I don't know what Ryan just said. You know, that is hard, so we need to do some work on that. And then what we do with rifle shooters, we, we make you put it all the way in the corner, shoot, all the way in the corner, shoot, all the way down, all the way up, each corner, so you can see that you still hit the target no matter where it is. But what I'll see people do, this is what it looks like when they draw and they go. Because they're aiming in the middle of the gun. If you can see the cowling, it means you're not target close. Because in intentional blindness, you should only see the red dot in the target. If you can see that thing that covers it, in clarity, you're looking at the dot. So you're going to have to remind yourself to stop moving. 